Hi Anne, we're here at the Sustainable Living Festival. Can you tell me a little bit about today? Well today, we, this, for the festival this year, we decided to take a, a more of a whole of community approach to sustainable living. So instead of just solar panels and wind and wave energy, we actually brought in cultural diversity that we have in the South Coast region and also our wonderful food, food produced, our local caterers and, we, and our sustainable economies. We've got the film industry down here that's bringing a, a diversity of economy to the Albany financial base and yeah, we thought we'd have a celebration with that today. What makes the Great Southern Region Australia's outdoor film and television studio? Go to those other ones, but we'll see. We may in the future. Um, but what we like to say is that, that actually this is our outdoor studio. That the locations give us production values that even the best production designers wouldn't be able to create for us. And what we're trying to do, which is also what Albany and the Great Southern Region is trying to do, is to find a point of difference. What is it? What is our unique selling point? What is it that makes this place so special? Why choose here rather than somewhere else? And there's a number of factors, as, as Amanda said, you know, stunning, stunning locations is one of them. Certainly the lifestyle for us being here is something else that's really important. top of the cabbage and then here comes the workout so Karen who didn't know that she was getting a workout today is going to be squeezing and massaging some cabbage for the next few minutes whilst I'm talking um, and so basically what we're going to do is by using the heat of the hand and massaging and squeezing the cabbage after a short time um, Karen will find that she begins to make some brine within the cabbage and then I'll let her get on with that whilst I'm talking. So she'll be just squeezing, massaging. This is the part that if you're making it at home, a lot of people get um, confused with this bit. I've run workshops for many years and the, the thing that people come to me often and say is that they just kind of gave up. They made a little bit of brine and then they put it into the jar and you'll see in a moment, the brine needs to cover the sauerkraut. So when you go to jar it before you ferment, you need the brine to be high enough to make enough brine. So you've got to be patient with this squeezing. Hi Evelyn, you just got back from Berlin representing community food events. Tell us a little bit about your trip. Okay, so I've just been over to Berlin with 55 other ecosystem leaders from across the world. Um, it was a gathering uh, just outside of Berlin at a very historically significant site. Um, we were there exploring what ecosystem leadership means, uh, sharing stories about our experience, uh, especially how you weave different elements of systems change together and promote awareness-based systems change within our place. Uh, there was a really strong story coming out from Western Australia. Uh, the systems change has been um, held, stories being held by the University of Western Australia in their Centre of Social Impact for the past 12 years. So the Centre of Social Impact um, at UWA uh, run a whole heap of different public engagement platforms, one being the uh, Social Impact Festival, which is due to be held in July this year. Down at Albany? Well, it's uh, partly the Sustainability Expo behind us, but more broadly, we're going to be here in the next uh, three days till Monday, uh, going to Albany, going to Denmark, talking to people about uh, climate change and the importance of taking action to uh, protect our environment. And what have you thought of the Sustainability Expo so oh, far? It's fantastic.
Hi Laura, as the state manager for Green Schools, do you want to tell us a little bit about today and how long the event's been running? Sure. Well, in Albany, I actually remember running the first one here in 2015. So this is our fifth one being held in Albany. But before that, we actually had oh, seven in Denmark. So Green Schools has been running this event for the 12 years. Sorry, I've got my maths right there. And I must say, every year it has just got bigger and better. And as today is a fine example, I mean, the people that have come through today.